I clean the home for myself, every room, every corner becomes a testament to his blessings. Even at work, with every task I undertake, I find an opportunity to express my gratitude to him. But I've learned that my journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not just end at love. In fact, it's just the beginning. My next quest is to really cultivate a friendship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This isn't just an ordinary friendship. It's a friendship rooted in love, obedience, trust, and surrender. It's an understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with me, guiding my every step, supporting me in every decision that I make, and providing for my every need. Every moment of my life becomes an opportunity to express my love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every task, regardless of its size or significance, becomes a step bringing me closer to Him. This journey of love leads me to the most profound friendship a human being can truly experience, and that's a friendship with Allah, the Creator. It's about finding Him in every part of my life and in my heart, and truly understanding that He is closer to me than my jugular vein. And as I make my way on this journey, I'm reminded of His promise, so remember me and I will remember you. I can truly find joy and it surpasses any worldly pleasure. I find peace when I remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, peace in his words and comfort in his promises. Every hardship that I endure, every challenge that I face is made easier with the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me. I also find that the more I love Allah, the less I fear the judgment of people. I am content in my relationship with him knowing that his acceptance is all that matters. I learned to trust his plans even when things don't go the way that I envisioned because I know that he is the best of planners. This is my journey of loving Allah, of befriending my creator. It's about discovering the love that transcends all other loves, a love that fills my heart, my soul, and my entire being. It's about strengthening my relationship with the one who created me, who knows me better than I know myself, and who loves me more than anyone else could. Good morning, you guys. How are you? Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you guys are all doing well. So it is another day and I already got ready off camera. I feel like there's a lot of cream happening right now. Anyways, I'm actually heading over to hang out with Manal and Shala, which is gonna be really, really nice. Like, I can't believe this is my first time seeing her since moving here. Like, we've been meaning to see each other for a really long time, but SubhanAllah, the way time has been set up, it's just been like literally like, it's just, it hasn't been good. But we're finally seeing each other, inshallah, which is gonna be really nice. You know, that's my Toronto girl, like. Get it to it, get it to it. Like, I'm so excited, y'all. I think it's gonna be really sweet. Yesterday, you guys, I spent the entire day working. Like, I literally stopped working, I think, at around midnight, which I haven't done in a really long time. So, I'm shattered right now. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that when I get to the train station, I'll grab a coffee and a croissant or something just to keep me awake. But, yeah. Ooh, today, the makeup is makeup in. Like, I'm wearing this dress. I've definitely shown you guys this before. Let's see if I can give you guys a better look. I got this from Naked Fashion a couple months ago. I love it just because of like the fit. Because you guys know, I'm very like 50-50 with jerseys. I feel like some days jerseys look good, some days they don't. So we are going to go right now. I'm bringing my iPad with me because I need to edit this YouTube video. Um, and I don't have a laptop actually. I don't know if I told you guys this. Well, I used to have a laptop, but it's just not really fast. So mm. you all know me and this perfume. Go see. Literally my favorite perfume. I absolutely love this perfume. I literally have like nothing left. It's practically done. So like... <laughs> my favorite perfume was Rasala. This is actually a dupe of Rasala. So I have two Rasalas and they're quite pricey. This is a dupe of it if you don't want to like, you know, spend money. We use it as our bathroom perfume, but you know, I mixed it with my other stuff. So I'm not going to smell like what I smell like when I use, get out of the toilet. Anyways, for my jacket, I'm literally just going to wear this. I know it's not really a winter jacket because, you know, it is winter, but I don't care. I feel like this is kind of cute as well. I always end up going for the safer option and my tote bag with all my work in it because that's just my life right now. Anyways, we're in a rush, so let's go, you guys. I realize I wear a lot of cream, you guys. A lot, but... Oh, I'm just eating it. I made it to the station. Um, so Manel's actually gonna pick me up. I can't believe she drives, you guys. It's actually insane. It's giving me the motivation to transfer over my license here and maybe actually attempt driving in the UK. But I told y'all, it's a little crazy in the UK, but I'ma still do it, I'ma still do it. Anyways, while I was on the train, um, I was able to get editing out of the way, so I'm really happy about that. I'm so exhausted, you guys, from last night. I'm never sleeping that late again. 
this productive girly does never sleep that late. It's not giving what it needs to give because I am exhausted right now. And I had a coffee and it did absolutely nothing. Hopefully I'm gonna get a matcha. I feel like that's gonna make me feel a little bit better, but. Anyways, I have to use the toilet really quickly and now I'm gonna go meet her. Anyways, let's go see what else. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm so excited to see her. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my God, you guys, we have Vanessa. Our Toronto girl. I'm so happy you're here. So she's moving in with me. We're starting a new life. Yeah, literally. I've decided that I'm officially gonna actually stay in the UK, even though I told you guys how much I hate it. <laughs> yeah, about that. Sorry. Um, I actually really love you guys. <laughs> Never mind. But anyways, you guys, so we've ordered French toast and chicken pasta and a smoothie. But yeah, we're having a great time. We're gonna eat, and then inshallah, we'll see you guys in a bit. See ya. See ya. Finished. Oh my god. Today we're Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he licking him? Oh, yeah, he's licking. Oh, wow. I'm so glad you got that on camera. Oh, my God. I never saw this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. John, you're being sweet? He's jealous. Okay. Oh. The, like, it's like, you have to have this. I do, I think. Guys, she's making a matcha with a hot chocolate maker. Honestly, yeah. Guys, Manal is actually a real one. Please look. <laughs> and I will not go back. Let's look at this. I get it. I get the hype. All right, ready? Spin that. If this works, oh, I forgot to do this. I'm a fake. <laughs> I'm actually a fake influencer. This is the real shot. Oh, let's see. Oh, wow. I think that was like or four. I think that was like five. This is love me. Oh my god, no, it looks so good. <gasps> I know it's gonna be good. Oh my yeah, god. Good. I'm gonna tell you if uh, Manal's matcha is good. Not, sorry, I gave it to you wrong. Yeah, why were you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Number one, I love it. Is it, I, it is amazing. Is it? Manal, wallahi. Oh. Wallahi, it's better than my matcha. No way. Wa billah. It's this. It must be this. It must not do anything. Oh wow. It must be this machine. Oh my god. Manal, Manal, you have to try it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna make it. No, no, Manal. Really? The, okay, so it's enough it's matcha. Yeah. Oh my god, it stirs it around. Manal, it's so Yay! good. Okay, next one is mm. yours. Wow, 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 wow. Is so wow, 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 wow. I never, my life. <laughs> matcha like that one. Literally, don't even give it to her. Try it yourself because you actually drink matcha. Really? Try it. Manal! I am that girl! Manal! Manal! Tell me that's not good. That is the best matcha. Who made this? You did! She must be great. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, hold on. I think they can. You can do it. Hello! Every day, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Oh, you guys, I'm actually gonna take this cat with me. Oh, me and the kitty. <laughs> Oh, that is Chris. Okay, now I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. See the difference? Yeah. Okay, you guys. Hey guys. We're literally saying goodbye now. We ended up having a slumber party. Well, that was so nice. It was so fun. But we didn't end up vlogging anything. So I'll just update you guys on what the night looked like. For you, there was <laughs> yeah. We had so much fun. But guys, literally, look at what Manal gave me oh. from her brand, Shinite and Co. I'm going to show you guys and do an unboxing when I get home. Anyways, we will see you guys when we get home. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. literally just came home and I had the best day ever honestly well the best day and a half but it felt like someone that I've known my entire life subhanallah and it was just so nice I literally love her so much and literally hanging out with Manal felt like I was at home again it felt like I was in Toronto again and just like she just gets it like she gets the joke she gets she gets the the slang she just gets everything I, realized, I didn't realize the way after when she brought it up I was like oh my god she's like you didn't vlog I was like yeah I really didn't vlog like, you know when you just have way too much fun? I also got to meet Medina. Medina was really, really nice. Um, her social handles is Grillo Designs. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen her before, but she was also such a sweetheart. Allahumma bad. We ended up chit-chatting from like 3 p.m. to almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Like literally and the entire time we were just laughing and enjoying it. Well, it was so nice. I really needed that company, you guys. Like it was so nice. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. I ended up just staying the night and then I just arrived home. So it's the next day now. Anyways, so Manal literally spoiled me with Chirite and Co. Like, 
Oh my god, I have to tell you guys a story, by the way, about how I met Manel. And this wasn't, like, literally, guys, this was the running joke the entire night. Like, we were dying of laughter. She kept bringing it up over and over and over again. I'm like, girl, it's not that funny. Like, let it go. And she's like, ah! <laughs> we actually had an encounter years ago when I was, like, 14 years old um, and told her about it. I'm going to tell you guys that story in a sec. Guys, it smells so good. There's something in here that smells really good. Oh, she did. I could drop it. Oh, these are nice. Oh my gosh, she spoiled me with so much jersey. These are so nice. This is the one I'm the most excited for. So excited for this. Oh, this is so nice. Oh no, this is perfect. Let me actually try this on because I want to see what it looks like and actually show you guys what it looks like on. So. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh my god, I dropped something. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, wait, we're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. I'm about to look 10 out of 10 when I'm praying in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is amazing, you guys. I love the coverage here and how it covers the neck and how not a single hair is showing when you're praying your salah. So you know that your prayers, inshallah, inshallah, will get accepted because you're actually wearing it properly. Almost positive this has pockets. I love it. My favorite part of gifting is actually trying them on. So let's try these on together. Let's open this box before I... <gasps> Oh, she gave me so many hijabs, you guys. Like, literally, look at all these hijabs she's giving me. This hijab would make me happily embrace having an egghead because, oh my god, it's so nice, you guys. I never usually wear my hijab this low, but there's something about it. Like, ooh! this is also really nice. Let me actually tell you the story of how Manal and I actually met. Basically, <laughs> when I was 14 years old, this is when no one was really on YouTube. She was doing hijab tutorials, and so 14-year-old me was like, oh my God, oh. it was like a specific type of like turban style. And so I remember seeing her video, and I was so apt because I'd never seen someone who looked like me on social media. So I was really happy. I ended up doing the exact same style for a wedding that came up. Went to the wedding, had the style, and then I see her sitting in our table and she was actually she's actually friends with a lot of my friends because we're both East African She's Ethiopian. I'm Eritrean. So we have like the same Circle of friends of friends things like that. So anyway, she ends up sitting in our table and Then I look at my friend beside me and I'm like girl Like I'm gonna tell her that I know her that I'm gonna tell her that I was inspired by this hijab style to do this hijab style so then I tell her I was like, oh my god, like I watch you on YouTube and I literally was inspired to do this hijab style. So, by the way, just for context and, and background, naturally, as Torontonians, we're very, very, like, witty. And we, we love comebacks. So if you say something to me, I'm going to have a comeback back for you. Like, it's just, like, how we are. It's our banter. Like, we're not... It's all fun and games. Like, it never... There's nothing harsh to it, okay? So, basically, she looked me straight in the eye when I said that because I was like, eee! And she took a cup of water and poured it into another cup. I was like a jug of water into a cup and looked at me and she's like, thirsty. <laughs> so when she did that, when she did that, everyone was dying of laughter, right? And I said, you think you're going to get me? I looked at her. I was like, how tall are you? Guys, I'm 14 years old. I'm like, how tall are you? And I think she said like 5'10 or 5'11. I was like, wow. So what size are your feet? And she's like, I think she said like size nine. I'm like, oh, I'm like, so you have big feet. <laughs> I was like, you have big feet. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. So basically when I was telling her the story, she didn't remember the thirsty part. But when I told her about the big feet, she screamed and she's like, girl who was trying to act smart and I was trying to figure out who it was and it was you and I'm like that is actually so crazy how everything is connected because now fast forward 10 years down the line we actually end up you know hanging out so crazy anyways guys look at this yeah this is definitely my favorite one oh my god I love this color what do we think guys let me know in the comment section below link down in my description box her website if you guys want to check it out and buy it for yourselves probably take a midday nap because i am shattered like i don't even know how i'm functioning right now i don't know how i have energy i don't know how i have energy i really don't i really don't i really don't but anyways so yeah i'm gonna go start that and i will see you guys in a little bit make some lasagna today inshallah the only thing is we don't have enough ground beef like i'm looking at the ground beef and i don't think it's gonna be enough so this lasagna is gonna be cheesy i ain't got no problem with it I mean, I'm taking care of my gut health, and here I am having a lot of cheese, but it's okay. Like, one day is not going to kill me. So, I'm just going to make it with what we have, and hopefully, inshallah, it turns out nice. 
But yeah, you guys, we're gonna make some delicious lasagna. Like, I'm so looking forward to this, inshallah. Anyways, before I do all of that, let's actually put these dishes away. The truth is, Allah knows you better than you know yourself. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caters circumstances to you in accordance with what He knows of you. See, a lot of times we think that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me this, I would have been this way. Why did Allah put that person in that position of success if I would have had that position of success? If I would have been there, I would have acted this way. It's like one of my mashayikh used to say about the people that are always complaining about the dictators in the Muslim world. He said, you would be the exact same way if you were in that position. The only difference is that you're robbing the person in the street with your business and that person's robbing an entire nation. But it's not about the circumstances. It's about who you are here. And Allah knows who you are here and Allah customizes circumstances to you because He knows who you are. And it's important for you to take a step back and to embrace the moment and circumstance that you are in and generate the best possible relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you see other people's circumstances, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be spared from a negative response. I literally just got hot water all over my face. Because I think I accidentally broke the sink. Oh. oh my god, the walls are so. Oh lord. I did it, you guys! Wow! I'm literally. I feel so smart. Like. How can you say I have a broken heart when your salah is not in order? How can you say I have a broken heart when you don't read the Quran and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Indeed the true believers they find the comfort of the heart in the remembrance of Allah for indeed it is only the remembrance of Allah that will comfort the heart it will mend the broken heart it will heal your broken heart what is it the remembrance of Allah what is that starting with the Quran it's afdalu dhikr tilawatul Quran the best of dhikr recite the Quran it's the silence amazing Yeah, I'm going to be filming a video right now and I'm really excited for the topic you guys. I honestly was sitting on this topic for a while so I feel like that you guys are going to enjoy it. Hopefully by the time this vlog comes out that video is already up. And it's gonna be my first sit down video in a while. Yeah, I haven't done a sit down video in a minute, but inshallah, many, many more sit down videos to come outside of just vlogs. Um, so yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you, if you haven't watched the video, watch it right now. I'm gonna put the link in my bio inshallah so you guys can watch it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit. I really like this because of the neck and how it's like a high neck. I wore this when I was in Paris, I believe. Yeah, I wore this when I was in Paris and I really, really liked it. Sometimes I'll be putting it on and I'm like, I feel like that girl. Like, I feel so good when I wear my hijab like this. So, inshallah, I start wearing undercaps more. Like, I feel so cute right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I have to come on camera and be like, look at my outfit. Like, it's so cute. I haven't dressed up in a minute, y'all. What, what are you talking about? Like, y'all can tell me nothing. Just give it to the girl. Yes or no. Like, boom. Gonna do it. Yeah. The fact that I made this outfit in three seconds really tells me that I'm doing a great job with my capsule wardrobe. Like, Excellent. Yeah, it's long at the back and then you can like fold it over like this. Absolutely love it. Oh, speaking of, I actually received some really nice hijabs from this brand that I told you guys about before. So let's actually open that together. The owner of this brand is literally the sweetest soul, Allahumma Barik. Like she sent this to me and she's like, I really hope you love it. They've donated almost 200,000 US dollars, which is incredible, Allahumma Barik. I feel like low-key I should wear this for the video. Tell me this is not stunning. Oh, this is stunning. <gasps> wow. This is so nice, you guys. I love it. And I love the fact that it's being, that the proceeds for this hijab are being donated to people in Palestine, which is incredible. 
but the scarf also itself is absolutely beautiful like this is so nice you guys like i'm obsessed like this is so cute a lot of it i love it it's uh they really put their back into this like look at this yeah yeah i'm really feeling myself i wish i could wear this but it's just a little bit too slippery and i need a hijab pin but if i had a hijab pin like this would go off so pretty and i'd probably wear it with like a different top but this is really beautiful i'm gonna stop talking now because i need to film this video and then take a shower and head to bed so let's set up this living room and get it ready for this video and then get to filming i'm so excited for this video you guys i'm so excited hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are all doing well if it is your first time here my name is hannah otherwise known as hannah's corner okay you guys so I haven't vlogged much, but I literally had to redo a video that I filmed yesterday because the sound didn't come out right. Ah, so that ended up taking so much more time than it needed to. I think it's like about, oh my god, it's one o'clock. I need to pray Salah, I need to pray Dhuhr. But yeah, I ended up having to refilm this video and also the lighting was a little bit off. So I was like, let me just redo this video. So I had to redo it. Um, did it hit the same as the first time I recorded it? I'm not really sure, but we're gonna see. But this is the life of a YouTuber, okay, y'all? Like, sometimes you just gotta refill, which is really annoying because it takes up so much time. From the, this guy who's hanging from, <laughs> from outside is really scaring me, you guys. I feel like he's gonna fall or something. Like, I'm just a bit, but anyways. So yeah, pretty much the rest of this day, you guys, is me working, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Guys, literally look. Like. Oh my god <gasps> really quickly i wanted to mention something so in my recent um tiktok i talked about like my experience of loneliness and just like how it's been and stuff and there's been a lot of people in my dms who've experienced the exact same thing some people are concerned <laughs> like when i talked about my experience of loneliness it wasn't necessarily it was so that other people could understand that it's a very normal experience and that it's just a part of this phase of my life like i'm perfectly fine with it obviously in the very beginning it was really hard i'm not gonna lie when i first moved here the first couple months felt like i was on vacation i was living life like live love love that's what i was doing i was living life and then reality hit and i was like damn this is real life isn't it <laughs> i'm like we don't y'all don't have your milks and bags like we do in canada like it's a very different world okay a very different world but alhamdulillah honestly like i've learned so much since moving here um, but don't get me wrong, y'all. It's still really hard sometimes. And I'm just like, I think a big part of it, honestly, is I miss my family and I miss my friends, okay? <laughs> For the girls who have moved out, let me know if you guys have ever moved out of your homes or if you guys are not living at home with your family right now or if you've gotten married and had to move to another country or another city. Let me know your experiences because I know I'm not alone. But I think it really forced me to get out of my comfort zone in so many ways and also be okay with hanging out with myself a lot longer than i initially anticipated like i thought by this point i would have already built like you know new friendships and stuff like that and don't get me wrong i've made a lot of really great friends but they all live really far it takes time to build genuine relationships with people especially when you're in your 20s i think people already kind of like have their established friendships and their established groups and they're a lot more comfortable with certain people which i completely understand but also another thing is that people are in different phases of their lives and i feel like sometimes from my experience it feels like sometimes people feel a lot more aligned with other people who are in the same phase of their lives for example i'll see that moms will usually hang out with moms <laughs> single people will usually hang out with single people married people will usually hang out with married people and i don't like that okay i personally do not like that i think that this is just something that i've noticed i'm not saying that it happens with everybody because obviously i have friends who are single i have friends who are married like you know but i mean in terms of like maintaining lasting relationships usually people will stay with those who are aligned with where they're at in their lives correct me if i'm wrong or if you've experienced this but that's just how it's felt being alone doesn't equate to being lonely okay those are two very different things i'm not lonely like i have my husband alhamdulillah i still have my friends who reach out to me like i still have my friends who i maintain my relationships with in toronto i still have you know family members that i maintain my relationships with even though they're just far away i've always been the type of person who's prayed and made dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me people who are actually good for me in my life and gives me friendships and relationships that help me to get closer to him or remind me of him or you know fill my soul fill my cup you know and i'm able to fill theirs i've always asked for those types of relationships and when i tell y'all 
that dude, I'll be answering so fast. Can he be cutting the people out? Quick, 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 quick. I'm like, damn, 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 damn. But alhamdulillah, I have the most incredible people in my life. Anyways, I say this to say that maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is really allowing me to be in this space because there is something greater waiting for me and I'm about to have the most incredible relationships inshallah in the future so I'm patient oh my god this is gonna get me emotional praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me people who are good for me in my life Anyways, I don't know why I shared that I guess it's just something that I've been kind of going through this last like what year and a half that I've been here um because a lot of people always ask like how has it been like to transition how has it been like since you've moved from like the uk to canada it's been hard you guys it is not easy there are times where it's easier there are times where it's harder i'll be telling my husband i want to book that ticket immediately he always like encourages me to go back but even though i want to go back sometimes i just feel like when you've gone from your home city for so long and you come back it just feels like a foreign place you feel like you don't belong anymore because everyone's just moved on without you like <laughs> I know it sounds so bad and so harsh, but it's true. Like everyone just kind of like moves on without you. I have so many things, you guys. Like this week has honestly been so hectic for me. Like I've never had this much on my plate. Let me not say that actually. I've had much more on my plate, but I have so much I need to get out of the way, inshallah. And I have a very limited amount of time. I just feel like the days have been going by so fast, you guys. I'm not really sure why, but it's giving the signs of day of judgment. I'm scared. I need to pray. I need to get some work done. And then get some more work done 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 like that's literally my life right now um but luckily i'm not gonna have to cook or anything because i made lasagna you know what i said i'm working on my gut health and here i am having lasagna like be so for real Hannah. you need to be better oh hell no to say that this guy cleaning my window has been the most entertaining thing to happen to me today is an understatement <laughs> This cannot be my life. This cannot be my life right now. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I absolutely love changing my mugs every time I drink a cup of coffee. This is my second cup of coffee, but look how cute my mug is, you guys. It's from the shop. This one, because it has all of these different hijabis, and it's just, this this mug is really for the girls. Like, she's just like that it girl mug, you know what I'm saying? I haven't drank from my artwork mugs in so long. But today, that's what we're gonna do, okay? And every single day, I love changing my mugs because, I don't know, I feel like the mug I choose reflects my mood, you know? So anyways, let me stop talking. Let's go downstairs. Tell me my loungewear outfit for the house is not so cute. I took that top that I got from, you know where, with these like wide-legged pants. This actually comes with its own sweater, but this is how I wore it. And now I'm not gonna look dusty getting coffee from my lounge because you never, you're never gonna catch me slipping ever again. <laughs> You guys, so I'm currently editing the video. And when I exported it, I'm like, why is the quality not really giving? I'm looking at the settings and everything. And I realized that this entire time, from the very beginning when I was vlogging, I've been recording on 720p instead of 1080. And I literally was wondering like, why is the quality so bad? Like I never like looked into it. I just assumed like it was the camera, but no. So this is what it looks like to record on high HD frame. I literally feel, I feel so like, oh, I just feel like I should have probably researched how to use this camera before I got it. But the fact that this has completely changed like the quality of the video, like look at this. I was always wondering like, should I have gotten the Sony instead of getting the Canon? But do you see the difference that that makes? Hopefully it comes out better so you guys can see it. But, but I'm currently gonna get this video out of the way inshallah and try to edit it so I have it up for you guys. And then I need to plan out what the next week is going to look like because like I said, it's quite hectic. But I'm literally just in the season of working, to be honest, you guys. I use Notion to help me organize like everything that I need to do. So this is kind of like what my Notion board looks like. I'll show you. So things like what I need to get out of the way for the morning. Like, did I take my vitamins? Did I take a shower? Did I eat breakfast? Did I make my matcha? <laughs> I like keeping things organized like this because it helps me to be more accountable of the things that I have to get out of the way. But outside of using Notion to organize like my thoughts and plan out my day, I also use a planner, so I do both. But anyways, I need to check off this to-do list because there's nothing more satisfying than checking off something off of your to-do list. So I'm gonna get some work done, inshallah, and then I will talk to you guys. So I'll see you guys. Soon.